Hey, we got a great show for you today. I'm going to show you the ALOS M2 fan kit from Gamdius. They sent us this to try out in the Talos M1. I'm going to show you step by step how you can upgrade those. And one of our viewers has sent in pictures of their Dell 9020 build as I've been requesting. It's awesome. I'm going to send him a great gift back. Stick around, I'll tell you more about it. So what's so cool about the ALOS M2 fan kit? This fan kit has four individual fans that wire in and are run by the integrated RGB controller. The RGB controller is magnetically mounted so you can put it anywhere in your case that's metal and run the wires directly to it. Now addressable RGB, that's even better. So instead of having each fan running their own sequence, these have individually addressable LEDs so you can change the color and have it chase colors around the case and there's many many different modes with the integrated controller there's also a remote so if your motherboard doesn't support sync you can use the integrated remote to set the colors and set the mode that you want it in it's very well packaged so far so four fans and integrated wiring. The nice thing about these fans is that they're actually colored on both sides. So there's rings of light on both sides. You can use these in a case as regular case fans, or you can use them with a water cooling radiator as radiator cooling fans. So inside the box, you get four 120 millimeter case fans or radiator cooling fans. You get the integrated RGB controller. You get a magnetic mounting strip to mount it to your case. A remote control to control all of these, or you can set it to motherboard mode. You get two interface cables to integrate to your motherboard or to another unit. And four sets of screws to mount it. First order business, make sure you're unplugged. Don't want to have any accidents. Second use the two included thumb screws on the back to remove the left side of the case. That houses your integrated RGB controller. Okay, the next step is to remove the wire ties holding your front panel wiring in. And you can unplug any existing case fans from power. And next would be to remove the two black screws holding the RGB controller. You can then remove the RGB controller from the housing. You can then remove the two existing fan headers, fan one and fan two. Now switch one and switch two on left and right can be removed. You can save this controller because you can use it in another project. You can safely tuck your wires back through for your various fans. Make sure to leave your I.O. cables loose so that we can go on to the next step. As I've shown in previous videos, the next step is to firmly grab the front of the case from the bottom and pull. Work your way up to remove the front bezel. The fan on the right is the new Aelos fans. The fan on the left is the original cooling fan. When you mount it, make sure to mount it with the Gamdius logo facing outward. The screws from the old and the new kits are identical, so don't worry about replacing them if you don't want to. 
Do yourself a favor if you want to make the installation easier and run the screws into the base in and out to help thread them before you get into the installation. This will make sure that the screws thread straight and even at any angle. So I would start with the easiest three screws first. That's going to be the ones in the corners here, in the top. Top fans, make sure that you have the AOLOS logo facing up and the power facing to the bottom of the case or the back of the case to make it easier later to run the wires. And you may want to take off these twist ties before you install these top ones so that you can run the wires off the back. Remember, AOLOS facing up and that's going to pull air upwards and out of the case. And now you can reinstall your magnetic cover. So you can now carefully reattach the front bezel, starting from the top, working our way down. So now that we're on the back of the machine again, locate the two two wire buttons from the control panel on the front of the machine. You're not gonna need these anymore, so you can tuck those out of the way. Also locate the four wire LED strip. We are gonna reuse this. So with our other wires tucked safely away, locate one, two, three, and four fan headers. And these have six wires. This is a good opportunity to take the sticky backing off of the back of the kit and apply it to the back side of the RGB controller. And this then can mount anywhere in the case. I would attach the fan headers and make sure you put them in to the proper fan spots. The nice thing about this kit is it's powered by a SATA connector instead of a regular Molex connector. So that's a nice upgrade, especially if you don't want to have to break out those Molex cables in your case. Find a nice convenient location. Now would be a great opportunity to test your fan installation.
So as you can see, it's really easy to upgrade the fans on the Talos M1 to a controllable, addressable RGB fan kit. Next up, I have a viewer build that I encourage people to send on some of my other videos, and the Blessed Gamer just sent in some amazing pictures of his Dell 9020 find. He got the whole computer, including shipping, for just $85, and it's an i5-4590 machine. So a decent CPU, it's got 12 gigs of DDR3 RAM running at 1600 megahertz, so lots of memory to play games and do things. He was even able to upgrade it to a 1050 Ti graphics card, which should play games really, really well. The one thing that I was amazed at in his pictures is the plexiglass side. He was able to take an eighth inch sheet of plexiglass and do some case modification and create really wicked looking case out of a what is a stock Dell 9020 case. And for that extra effort of sending your photos in and being featured on here, I'm gonna send you a three pack of RGB case fans from up here, just so that you can add some color to that awesome plexiglass side. Thanks for watching, and if you have a machine that you think's worthy of being on this channel, or a Dell 9020 especially, that you've built out, send some pictures and do a little write-up about it and let me know what's in it, and I'll try to feature you on a future video. Thanks a lot, thanks for watching.